Uncle Cho. The President. Le Président. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Court officer is now instructed to call TCW 695 into the courtroom. The President. Le Président. Bonjour, Good morning, Mr. Witness. What's your name, please? Vous -vous? Réponse. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Good morning, Mr. President and Your Honors. I Bien am Soon Canel. Soon Canel. Thank you. Question. Question. Apart from this name, do you have any other names? Avez-vous d'autres noms? Response. I am Réponse. also known as Ning. On m'appelle aussi Ning. Thank you. Question. Question. Mr. Cannell, how Monsieur old Cannell. are you? Comment, quel âge avez-vous? And please wait. Wait until you see the red light activated Veuillez on the console before you proceed. You may now proceed. De votre micro. Salut, mais de Response. Réponse. I am... 59 years old. J'ai 59 ans. Thank you. Question. Mr. Cannell, where were you born? Où êtes-vous êtes né, Monsieur Cannell? Response. Réponse. I was born in Chuk village, village de Chuk. Tralai commune, Stone commune de district of Kampong Tom. Question. Where do Question. you live now? Où habitez-vous aujourd'hui? Response. Réponse. I still live in the same village, village, village and commune um, of commune the same province. De Pralai. Question. Ben, what do you do for a living? Question. Quelle est votre profession? Response. I am a peasant. Réponse. Je suis paysan. Question. What's your father's name? Question. Comment s'appelle votre père? Response. He is Sun Sin, deceased. Sun Sin. Question. What is your mother's name? Response. She is Chan Kim Hoot, deceased. Thank you. Question. What is your wife's name and how many children do you have? Response. She is Chiu Ni, or known as Mi Ni. We have six children. Two boys, four girls. Thank you. Mr. Sun Kanal, according to the report by the Greffier of the Trial Chamber, in your capacity as the witness, uh, you have no biological relation to any of the civil parties or parties to the proceedings, including the three accused persons, namely 
kill some pawn on G and in Zeri. Is that correct? Yes, exactly. Response. Yes, it is. Is it exact? Question. According to the same report, you took the oath already. Is that true? Yes, exact. Response. Yes, it is. Is it exact? The president, the chamber would like now to inform you of your rights before the chamber, the rights against cell incrimination of witnesses. Mr. Soon Kanel, as the witness before the chamber, you may choose to refuse to respond to any questions if you believe that your responses may be cell incriminating and as the witness you shall tell the whole truth nothing but the truth and you are to respond to all questions posed to you by the judges of the bench and parties to the proceedings and indeed uh, you may choose not to respond to any questions if you are convinced that your responses may be self-incriminating. And as the witness, you shall respond to questions concerning your experiences, what you saw and what you had lived through. Do you understand this? Response. Réponse. Yes, I do, but partly, oui, Mr. President, ça, if you don't mind, please explain further to me. Plus en the President, Mr. Witness, as the witness, you can refrain from responding to vous any questions that are that you believe that uh, your si responses may be self-incriminating. And at the same time, as the witness, you are to respond to all the questions because parties have the right to questions, put questions to you, you including the judges of the bench. So all questions will be put to you, but questions that you believe that uh, they are self-incriminating, you may exercise your right si not to respond. And at the same time, you shall tell the whole truth, nothing but vous devez the dire truth. Toute la et rien que la the truth here refers to the accounts, the events you recollect or you had experiences or you had vécu, some observations when living through these events que vous avez observé. and your responses must be relevant to the experiences you have had during the time period from 1975 all the way to the 6th of January 1979 so you have these rights and obligation. We hope you understand now. Response. Yes, I do, Mr. President. Thank you. Question. Mr. Canel, have you ever given any interviews to any of the co-investigating judges of the OCIJ? Response. I have given interviews to the investigators on some occasions. The president, how many times exactly have Question. you had or had you given these interviews Combien de fois? and where? Et où était -ce? Response. Réponse. I was interviewed on several occasions at my fois. home at Chuk village, moi, village Rolai Chuk. commune. In August 2009, it was on the 18, 19, and 20th of August, three days in a row. And there was another interview 
but I don't remember the exact date. Une autre fois, They came to my house Des gens sont venus chez two moi. times. Ils sont venus deux fois. And again, Mr. President, I do not remember the exact date uh, of my last uh, interview. The President, so how audition. many times exactly Le were président. you given Combien that fois exactement avez -vous in uh, those interviews? Entendu? And please hold on, wait until you see Veuillez the red light, please. You may proceed. Response. Réponse. They only came to my home on two occasions. Ils ne sont venus chez moi que deux fois. The President, thank you, Mr. Soon Kanel. Before you appear before this chamber, have you read the record of interviews you gave to the investigating judges to reflect your memory? Response. Pour vous la yes, I have, Mr. President. I have read Réponse. the documents oui. again. Lu ces documents. Question. Oui. According to your recollection, Question. are these records the precise reflection of the accounts you gave during the time when you were interviewed by the investigators? Response. Yes, um, they are oui. the events uh, reflect uh, Ils the accounts. Fidèlement. The president, to make sure Le we president. understand this pretty well, uh, the question to you is whether the events in the record of the interviews reflected what you gave to the investigators back then. Response. I have already read the documents. I am in the position to say that these fidèles. documents, the accounts are Réponse. consistent with those I gave. Je les ai lus et cela the colle. President, uh, the Chamber would like to inform the prosecution that during the testimony Le of président. this witness, Co-prosecutors will be offered the opportunity to put questions first to this witness. Both la civil party lawyers and the prosecutors will have the whole day to put questions to the witness. You may now proceed. Toute la pour interroger le témoin. Allez-y. National Co-Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President, and your honors, a very good morning. Merci, Monsieur le Président. And very good morning to you, Madame Mr. Thun Kanel. I am Song Chawan, representing Chawan. the Co-Prosecution Office. Today I have a few questions to put to you. But before I begin questions putting questions. questions, I would like to seek Mr. President's leave so that I can hand over to Mr. Witness the documents of his interview. Document E3-344, E3-414, and E3-74. These three documents will be important to assist the witness if Mr. President allows. The President, uh, you may proceed. Court officer is now instructed to bring the documents to the witness for examination. Co-prosecutor, Mr. Canel, before you, you can see Monsieur that Canel, these documents are the record, the written record of interview of uh, witness, uh, the auditions. statements you gave before the co-investigating judges. A moment from now, I will be putting questions concerning your statements. The questions are more about the efforts to seek some clarification from you. The first question to you is, question. when did you join the revolution? À quel moment vous êtes -vous à la revolution? Response, I joined the Réponse. revolution on the 11th of November, 1971. 1971. Question, 
during the first time when you joined the revolution, Question. where was it? Where did you join Who that revolution? Response. I joined the revolution at first at Klakmum commune, la commune de Klakmum. Siem Kham, uh, commune and Chikrang district of Siem Reap Dwap province. Siem Chikrang. Question. Province de Siem Reap. You stated that you joined the revolution and afterwards uh, you were selected to attend Après, a telegram training session. Can you tell the chamber please how long was there after you joined the revolution de before you Combien were recruited to, to attend the study session of telegram? Avoir la Response. Revolution. I was selected to Réponse. attend Telegram training session six months after I had joined the revolution. Question. You stated that it was six months Question. after you had joined the revolution before six you attended the telegram training session. Do you know why were you selected to Pourquoi attend the session? Response. The reason I was selected to attend the study session si because at that time it was a requirement for each sector. And at that time I was attached to sector Moi, 35 which was the former north zone. 35, so I was selected uh, alone to attend their training. Question. During the time when you Question. attended the training session on Telegram, how old were you? Quel the president, uh, Mr. Witness, Le please president. just observe Témoin. some pause. Court officer, pause you are now instructed to ensure that the console is uh, um, adjusted a little bit Veuillez to a different angle so that uh, Mr. Witness can easily see the red light when it is activated. Mr. Canel, you can also sit back and relax because Monsieur you Canel, can still be hurt. You don't need to lean forward vous vous to be hurt. Le dossier de votre siège. Vous n'avez pas à vous pencher vers l'avant. Nous vous entendons uh, bien. The, the, the current position you are sitting now is fine. We can hear you clearly. You may now proceed. Uh, with that, Mr. President, I would like the question to be repeated, says the witness. Question. You said that after six months you were recruited uh, to attend the study session, but how old were you at that time? Response. I was 18 years of age. Thank you. Question. During the time when you studied telegram, Quand vous avez reçu une formation Can you tell the chamber what could have been the criteria for selecting someone to attend such Quels étaient study les critères qu'il fallait remplir pour être uh, or choisi just suddenly you et were then recruited à cette formation warning. Response. À moins que vous At that time, there was, there was some kind of requirement. Uh, I was asked uh, to... Il y avait des critères. I was part of the sector, for example, each member or two members of each sector Et would then be selected de to attend such study session. Question. Question. According to your observation, where were the trainees from and how old were vous they? Constaté, les stagiaires et quel Response. Âge these telegram Réponse. trainees were as old as I was at that time. Avaient le même âge que moi. And they came from three sectors of that same zone. De trois secteurs de la même zone. And they came because uh, they were sent uh, or they were uh, invited by each respective sector chief. Par Leur Thank chef you. De secteur Question. Respectif. According to your statement before the co investigating judges' document E3 stroke 344, ER and Inkmai 0037, 344, 
English E R N zero zero three eight four 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 and French E R N zero zero four two six one four two. The investigator asked you about the time when you joined the revolution, and I would like to cite from that. After joining the revolution, I had been asked to do some propaganda work at, uh, in the village called Krobayril. My question to you is, what was the substance of the propaganda you uh, dealt with uh, the people in that village at that time? Response. At Krabairil village, I village focused mainly on how to uh, the work dealing with national liberation. La libération nationale. Question. Question. Could you please be more precise as to vous how you mean by uh, what you mean by national liberation? Par là, quand vous de libération nationale. Response. Réponse. To me, it is the revolutionary term. This means that it was part of the revolution uh, to convert, to change the old regime into a new one. Pour renverser l'ancien régime et en mettre un nouveau en Thank place. you. Question: How Question. was propaganda work conducted? De quelle manière se faisait le travail de propagande? Response: Réponse. At that time. The propaganda work uh, would uh, be carried out through meetings. Le travail de propagande se faisait dans le cadre de réunions. Question: Were meetings uh, convened uh, at every sector zone, and how often were the meetings convened? Convoqués dans chaque secteur et dans chaque zone, et quelle Response. était la fréquence de ces réunions? The meetings uh, were convened Les according to each respective. Level. I myself received instructions from the village, uh, from the commune level, because I lived in the village. I was, in, I was instru instructed on how to liberate the country and how we can convert this society into a new one, for example. Thank you. Question. Question. If such meetings were conducted uh, and that uh, people from the commune level came down to Donc, the village uh, to conduct such propaganda work, how effective was the work? De la commune et du village faisaient du travail de propagande. Response. During the meetings, every meeting was successful. Qu'en est-il de l'efficacité des réunions Question. Réponse. Successful, Chaque as you said. Can you please fructueuse. be more precise Question. on this? How successful was fructueuse? it? Response. Réponse. When I say successful, because fructueuse. before the meetings were convened, people had not understood that. Réunion, so after meetings, uh, people were convinced pas. and they understood réunion, the course of the revolution and eventually they joined us et and supported us. Par nous et nous Question. I would like now to Question. move to another small topic concerning your telegram point. training sessions. De la you stated that when you, after six months of your revolution, Sign up. Uh, you were sent to study Telegram. Avoir la on vous a Where was it? Where was the training session uh, venue? Été Response. Réponse. I may talk broadly on this. Uh, I came from Siem Reap. And we went to a jungle near Crochet, or perhaps bordering Kampong Cham province, the location of To 8. To 8. Question: You talked about To 8. Uh, where was it? For, uh, uh, what was it referred to? 
response. I think question. Uh, I perhaps it was uh, at Tulsum Bow. Tulsum Bow uh, location or area now, but I I don't know for sure. It, it was a long time ago. Now, l'interprète se reprend. C'était Compongcham et non pas Compongtum. So at question. To eight. À to eight. Were you familiar that there would be Office 870 at that time already? Y avait-il déjà un bureau 870? Response. During that time, I Réponse. heard of it. J'en ai entendu parler à l'époque. Question. How did you hear Question. of this? Comment From whom? En avez-vous entendu parler? De qui Response. Ces informations? I heard uh, this through Réponse. my instructor during the training sessions, l'instructeur en the telegram training sessions. La sur les Question. Do you still remember Question. your instructor? What is his name? Comment s'appelait votre instructeur? Response. Réponse. He, I still remember his name indeed. Je me souviens de son nom. We have two sections first uh, for the morse sections. code L'une and second section for le morse repairing et l'autre so for the morse code section la we morse. had to study for three months and a half la and the second session uh, last for six l'autre months Mun was the instructor of first uh, section Mun when Jun was the, the instructor section. of the second section et Yun était celui de la deuxième And at that time, I attended the third section already because uh, the the student or the good trainee of the first and second section uh, of the training would be recruited to become a trainer for the following section, those who could type the Morse code more efficiently and quickly enough. Question. You say that uh, your instructor Question. told you that there was Office 870 dites, in the jungle. Can you please be more precise? Is he Moon or Yun? S'agissait-il de Moon ou de Yun? Response. Réponse. Jun was the instructor who told me Yun about the existence uh, qui m'a parlé de of Office 870. Du 870. Question. Question. In which year did you learn that uh, Office 870 existed? Response. I don't remember Réponse. the date uh, for sure. I forget date. it already. J'ai oublié. Question. Question. If you cannot remember the exact date, uh, si vous avez oublié la date exacte, did you learn that Office 870 uh, existed uh, during the time when you were in the jungle attending si their training session? L'existence du bureau 870 alors que vous participiez à une formation dans la forêt? Yes, it Réponse. is correct. Uh, it is. Uh, it is when I was there that I learned about this because I had no knowledge of this office before I went to that jungle. Au courant de l'existence Thank you. De ce bureau. Question. Question. Did you or were you told the purpose of using the telegrams? Vous a-t-on dit à quoi servaient Response. les telegrams? During the training, uh, we were taught uh, about the meaning of telegrams. Telegrams were meant to use for military, both the, for air, land, and water, uh, the military dealing with these kind of channels of uh, communication. Thank you. I would like uh, to talk about this uh, at um, a later stage, but I would like to also ask you uh, more Question. questions concerning this telegram section. J'ai des questions sur um, la section do des you telegram. still remember f- what the purpose of this telegram for? I mean, uh, the communication of the telegram was meant to 
be à communicated to which label? Telegram. Response. À quel niveau Telegrams were used Réponse. to communicate uh, people at the zone. Pour la communication. Uh, from zone to sector and to the commander of the battlefields. That's what happened at that time. Les Question. Des différents champs de Were telegrams Question. used uh, from one zone to another zone? Est-ce que les zones communiquaient entre elles par telegram? Response. Réponse. Later on, Uh, telegrams Plus were tard, used uh, to communicate uh, to the uh, upper office, including Office 870. Thank you. Now, I would like to have a few questions concerning the coding of the telegrams. Uh, do you still remember when exactly such secret codings were introduced? Response. Coding system or coding le letters were introduced when, uh, as soon as the Morse code uh, tapper was uh, brought in. Dès qu'on a commencé à utiliser le Morse. Question: When the device Question. was sent to your location, do you remember when was it sent to that area? À quel moment le matériel a-t-il été envoyé This, là où uh, vous étiez coding machine or device was Réponse. sent to me Cette machine during the time when m'a été envoyée. There were some kind of uh, clashes in Phnom Penh. It was une époque où il y avait des affrontements à Phnom Penh. 1973, early 1973 or late 1974. C'était début 73 ou fin Rather, 74. Late 1972 or ou early 1973. Fin 72 ou début 73. Question: Where was the coding? or telegram decoding machine or device uh, place was there an office for it les telegrams se trouvait-il un endroit particulier Response. comme un bureau when the device Réponse. arrived quand la machine est arrivée and as the telegram was part of uh, the important communication for the military la communication uh, they would like uh, to set an office which was armées. further away from the headquarters, the military headquarters. We were asked to locate this unit militaire. about Nous two kilometers from the main military headquarters when four people were assigned to work on one device. Pour travailler avec un appareil. Thank you. Question. After You attended the telegram training session après and after the telegram decoding device was introduced. Que de décodage de and you said that because uh, we lacked uh, people at work, uh, you were reassigned to work at the printing house. Do you remember when you were transferred to work at the printing house? Il manquait du personnel. À quel moment avez-vous été transféré vers l'imprimerie Le président, Mr. Witness, please observe some pause. You may now proceed. Le président, témoin, veuillez marquer une pause avant de répondre. Response. Allez-y à présent. I don't remember the exact day and month, but it was most likely quand c'était in late 1972, mais ça devait être and, or early 1973, fin 72 ou début 73. Because uh, when we had been waiting for the telegram decoding machine to arrive and after some time after the training I was uh, et uh, asked to après la formation, do some farming but, but then uh, I was asked to help with the printing Ensuite, task I could do that properly so I was then needed to assist uh, people at the printing house de le faire et donc je fait. question where question. where was that printing house located and Où how how big was it et quelle était sa taille? 
Response. Reverse. The printing house was at kilometer 13 in Kampong Cham province. Dans la province de Kampong Cham. The printing house was not big. It Elle was pas grande. very small and we had some people who uh, could write on the stencils. Il y avait and uh, two or three more people who worked uh, le in a small shack. Et il y avait deux trois house. personnes qui travaillaient dans une petite cabane. Question: Question. Who was in charge? Who was orally in charge of the printing house? Qui était le responsable Question. de l'imprimerie? Question: uh, Rather, response. Réponse. Chi was orally in charge. Chi. On était of le responsable the printing house, along with another person whose name I don't remember. À côté de quelqu'un d'autre dont j'ai oublié le nom. Question. Question. Have you ever heard a person by the name Sun working at the printing house? Avez-vous jamais entendu parler d'un dénommé Sun qui aurait travaillé à l'imprimerie? Response: No, I haven't. Réponse, non. Thank you. Question. Question. What kind of documents uh, were part of the products uh, printed at this printing house? Quel type de documents y imprimait-on? Response. Réponse. There were some documents con uh, including the Il y avait différents types uh, de documents. Uh, Rasmay Padewat magazine. La revue Rasmay Padewat. Revolutionary. Ray or light. Ou encore, la Question: Can you please be more precise when you talk Question. about these documents? Were, were they in the form of journals or magazines? The president, Mr. Witness, please uh, be patient and pause uh, before you respond. You may proceed. Response: Rex may pas de what? Is more or what? less a magazine. C'était en quelque sorte une revue. Question. Question. Were slogans or banners or letter of permissions also printed at the printing house? Des slogans, des bannières, Response. des lettres d'autorisation étaient aussi imprimés. When needed. Uh, People at the printing house may be asked to write some slogans and make uh, some banners. Au besoin, on pouvait demander aux gens de rédiger des slogans et d'imprimer des bannières. Question. To refresh your memory. In your statement before the co-investigating judges, as in the same document I stated under Khmer ERN 0037 English ERN 0039 French ERN 0036 you were asked this question. What kind of documents were printed at the printing house? And you stated before the co investigators that at the printing house, documents including banners, slogans, and permissions letter and other documents to, uh, for the arrangement of the zone were part of the products printed. Is that correct? imprimé pour les la zone response according to this document uh, exact. i stated before the co investing judges i still stand by my statement in the and uh, it was three years ago i may forget something ans. but i still okay. remember Donc, it is correct dit, question. question at the same printing house Toujours who had uh, the authority to make a decision to print any particular text or document. Can you please give us the name of that person if you still remember? Du nom de cette Response. Réponse. The decision for documents to be printed uh, was made uh, by the zone secretary. C'est le secrétaire de la zone qui l'apprenait. 
thank you. After the documents or the were printed, how were they distributed? Comment ces documents étaient-ils distribués? Response. At that time, the documents uh, would be distributed to different sectors and districts where the cadres were working. When you were circulating the uh, documents, uh, was it the decision of the secretary of the zone? Uh, for this uh, dissemination, or there was an order zone, from anyone else. Donné cette Response. Réponse. At that time, at, at that particular place, uh, the decision was up to the secretary of the zone. For example, endroit, how many copies will be distributed to certain sectors, uh, it was all up to the secretary of the zone. The uh, secretary of the zone you are mentioning, uh, who uh, was he? Response. Response. Uh, normally, people call him Brother Twitch. On l'appelait Frère Twitch. Question. In the printing house, when you were working there, uh, did you ever see the uh, copy of the revolutionary flag? Vu un de la revue Response. Response. I, I, when I work at the uh, printing house, I did see Je the revolutionary oui. flag, but it was not printed uh, in the printing house Mais because it was distributed uh, by the uh, upper authority, Elle they simply uh, sent some 10 copies or so uh, to our uh, section. Notre Question. So you uh, say you uh, saw a revolutionary flag and these uh, revolutionary flag magazines were sent uh, from the upper authority. Uh, do you know who ordered the uh, distribution of these uh, revolutionary flags and did you ever read the content of the uh, magazine? Response. Response. I saw these uh, magazines because I was working uh, in the printing house, but uh, I was not allowed to read this magazine because they were not for me. After all, they were for party members. Question. Yes, now you mentioned that uh, people at the upper authority who Question. ordered the distribution of these magazines, can you uh, tell the court, uh, to your knowledge, uh, who uh, sent those uh, magazines? President, uh, please uh, wait until you see the light is on. Response. Uh, the upper authority I am referring to uh, is, of course, the center, but I did not know who exactly uh, he or she was because it was a secretive uh, office. Question. Of course, uh, you were uh, transferred from one province to another in the course of your work at that time. So I would like to ask you for your clarification. Uh, once you were with Kai Pok in Kampung Thom province, it was sometime in 1973. Uh, do you um, agree? Response. Respond. That is correct. It was in 1973. Question. When you were working with uh, Kai Pok in Kampung Thom province in 1973, do you recall any important events uh, that is worth note taking. For example, uh, there was a ongoing fierce battle uh, during that period. Response. Yes, I, I do recall uh, the event at that time because at the time I stayed attached uh, to the battlefields when uh, it uh, broke out in Kampung uh, province. Uh, the battlefield was uh, breaking out uh, somewhere around Rolus. It was very fierce, fierce battle indeed. 
question. Can you please a bit more uh, precise? Uh, where uh, did the uh, war erupt? Uh, you describe it as a fierce battlefield. Uh, where did it all started? start? Bon, vous avez parlé. Response. Uh, back in 1973, en 1973 uh, the uh, battle um, erupted around uh, province uh, from Santuk Kampung Thom and other districts, district, and then they were approaching toward the uh, Kampung Thom downtown center. And de back in 1973, I was uh, stationed at uh, Rolos village, a southern part of Kampung Thom provincial town, and we, and we had to fight uh, along the eastern part, uh, and there were you know, the, the fighting was from all direction, and they were all Les approaching uh, the provincial towns surrounding the Kampung Thom uh, province. La ville de Thank you. Question. Question. So in 1973, uh, how many people worked for Kaipo? And if you can, can you recall some of the names uh, who si were close to Kaipo at the si time? Vous vous en souvenir, -vous nous les noms de qui de Response. Réponse. Back in 1973, en 73, those who worked closely with Kai Pok uh, were the uh, people in charge of Telegram uh, section, du uh, security guards or bodyguards, and uh, commanders working in the battalions or companies, uh, those who were subordinate to Kai Pok at that time, and they were in charge of overall security, uh, were working very closely with Kai Pok. Kai Pok uh, Question. Can you please uh, 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 tell the court uh, the uh, names uh, of those who were, for example, the commanders of battalions or companies who were compagnie, working with Kai Pok, according to you just now. Can you tell the court a few names? A response. It all happened long time ago. I do not recall everything very well. I only recall those who were responsible for Telegram section and those whom I uh, knew at the time. At the Telegram section, there were four altogether, including uh, myself. Uh, there are four who was in charge of Morse typing, and there was only one repairer at that time. And close to Capoc at the time, there was uh, a man by the name of Chit. Do you know the Chit? Chit was a close aide of Kaipok, who assisted him from time to time in time of war. Il en temps de guerre. And as for the uh, battalion at that time, there was a commander of battalion, battalion 305, uh, led by Bain, uh, he was the commander Bain of a battalion, 305, and Mon, Mon commander of battalion, uh, 308. Well, it happened long time ago. I cannot recall everything. Thank you, says the prosecutor. Le Question. So merci. let me um, ask you a little bit further. In 1973, uh, uh, the war Toujours broke out at that time, so the telegram communication were uh, the uh, frequent means of communication. It was in use at that time, is that correct? Telegram. Response. Response. The telegrams that was put in operation uh, at that time Le de uh, was used as a means of communication. I uh, was stationed at uh, 
some round. It was in 1973, early 1973. Uh, and then uh, they uh, transferred me uh, to the battlefield somewhere near Siem Reap. So uh, telegram were operational uh, from that time onwards uh, when the uh, fighting was uh, getting fierce. Uh, uh, we had to communicate via uh, telegrams in order to avoid sending messages uh, by individual people. Plutôt que d'envoyer les messages par courrier, enfin par personne. Question. In relation to the report ah, regime, uh, who did Question. Kaepok report to? À qui Kaepok rendait-il compte? In terms of reports, uh, Kaepok was in charge of the uh, general staff Kaepok of the uh, zone, so he reported to the zone secretary. And in addition, the, uh, at, the secretary, uh, at the zone level, they also communicated back uh, to the uh, general staff of the zone. Can you enlighten us a little bit further? Uh, who was Kaipok's superior? Who did he report to? Response. At that time, uh, Kaipok had to report to his um, immediate uh, superior. Uh, he uh, reported to the secretary of the zone, and the secretary of the zone had to relay the message to the upper authority in the hierarchical structure. Question. Question. Uh, how did um, Kaipok report uh, the... Uh, the situation, the overall situation, uh, to his uh, upper authority, and how often did he do it? Response. At the time, Kaipok had to report to his upper authority through telegrams. If any important matters arose, uh, they had to communicate uh, with uh, his superior because many si battles in different places uh, broke out at that time. They had to uh, report uh, uh, wars may uh, uh, broke out in, for example, the uh, southwest zones or in the north zones. Or so, so uh, they had to report uh, the overall situation of warfare uh, to the upper authority. Question. Um, this is going to be my last question for 1973. You said that uh, a telegram was put in place uh, for operation and communication in 1973. Um, did, you, did you know how to use uh, telegrams at that time in 1973? Response. In 1973, to my knowledge, we uh, sent telegrams uh, to uh, M870, but uh, to my knowledge, uh, the, um, the information in those reports was about the factories in the Et war. It was solely about the victory uh, in, in the war. Uh, uh, there was no any other issue, to my knowledge. Question, how did you know? Question. How did you know that uh, there was a telegram vous? sent to uh, M870? Did you uh, witness it by yourself or you were told about that? Vous dit que cela avait été fait? Response. Réponse. For my side, of course, uh, we only sent uh, telegrams to H70 uh, about the victory at war, and at that time we uh, simply sent a uh, plain message. President, uh, prosecutor, please uh, be advised that uh, you should uh, be focused on the uh, 
the relevant uh, part Madame of uh, the le uh, case, que vous devez uh, you have to be whittling off the time. You have taken approximately half, uh, almost an hour now, and then you are still in 1973. Uh, Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President, for your guidance. Uh, I have only uh, very few questions left concerning this period, then we will move to 1975. Uh, witness, in 19 74, uh, where did you reside and what did you do back then? Response, in 1974, they withdrew me and the sec uh, general staff uh, back to Simri province uh, because the war was going on at the, uh, at the time over there, so we were uh, sent to reinforce our force over there. Question. So when you were withdrawn to uh, Syria, uh, were you aware of the evacuation of people out of Krati province, Kampong Cham, or Dong? Response. In 1974, I was not aware of that. Thank you. Question. Now I move Merci. on to the period uh, in 1975, uh, particularly following the 17th of April 1975, the zone under the command of Kai Po uh, was transformed into the central zone or new north zone. Is that correct? Cette zone est devenue la zone centrale ou nouvelle zone nord. Is that correct? Response. Following the 17th of April 1975, uh, there was uh, a breakup of the uh, zone. The old north zones was uh, transformed to be the central zone. And that is correct, uh, according to your uh, summary. That was the division of uh, zones administration at that time. And Kaipok uh, was uh, sent to be in charge of the area surrounding uh, Kampung. Uh, and, uh, and he brought along with him only security guards, uh, bodyguards, and a few people. Uh, the other forces were left in sector 34 in Simriya. Question. So, uh, when you, uh, in, in 1975, did you uh, observe the evacuation of people or movement of uh, population in general at that time? A response. In 1975, the uh, issue of the evacuation of people, uh, people in my group were not uh, informed because we were in the front line uh, in the uh, battlefields. Uh, I think uh, we held different responsibilities, so only those who were responsible at the district level, for example, uh, would have known that. Question. So when you first entered Kampung Cham town, uh, what was your overall impression of the living condition of people? Did you witness any dead bodies or corpses along the street? When I respond, when I first entered Kampung Cham uh, town, the situation and the uh, and the city uh, had already been organized. Uh, of course, uh, af immediately after the war, there would be uh, dead bodies scattered on the street. But uh, when I entered Kampung Cham provincial town, uh, actually uh, the city had already been organized, so I did not see any uh, dead bodies on the streets. Question. As you said, you did not see the uh, people either. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, when you got to Kampung Cham uh, province, did you see the uh, Muslim Cham community in Kampung Cham province? Response. When I got to the province, I, I knew about the uh, Muslim Cham community. They uh, had not been evacuated because they were living uh, somewhere in Pim Chikong. These were a community. And I went uh, out at night uh, to um, catch uh, fish. Uh, also, I saw the uh, 
Muslim Cham community. Vu, they were still there at the time. Cham, ils étaient toujours là à l'époque. Question. Question. I would like to uh, dwell a little bit on the old north zone and you mentioned that uh, Kai Fok was the secretary of the zone so can you tell the court who was his deputy response as planned he was supposed to be sent uh, to Kampung Cham Uh, before he was the deputy secretary of the zone, and then uh, later on he was uh, uh, promoted to the secretary of the zone. And following the 17th of April 1975, uh, sector 305 was uh, given to Sai. Uh, so he was in charge of the uh, Siem Reap section. Question. You said that uh, the, the reorganization of the structure was uh, uh, following uh, April the 17th, When exactly was it uh, reorganized? President, uh, witness, please uh, observe the light on the microphone before you speak. Monsieur Témoin, je vous prie d'attendre la lumière rouge pour parler. Well, it was... Uh, not long after the 17th of eh bien, April 1975, but I do not recall the exact date. It could have been three, four, five months or so after uh, 17 April 1975. Kapok was before uh, the uh, general staff, uh, and then it was later on promoted to the uh, zone secretary. And then Sai was placed in, in charge of uh, uh, sector 305 in charge of CIMRI. Question. So when we talk about the Question. center committee, Parlons du comité du in your uh, statement with the Dans investigators uh, of the OCIJ, document E3-344, uh, uh, and in Khmer, 00, 37-3496, English, en anglais. 00384428 and French 00 426144 at the time you told the investigators that uh, the uh, zone committee comprised of five members Kapok was uh, the uh, secretary uh, Tol was member but he disappeared John disappeared. Some Eun, uh, Kai Pok's brother-in-law, disappeared. Do you stand by this uh, statement? Dont le nom a échappé à l'interprète, uh, a disparu lui aussi. Confirmez-vous cela? Yes, I maintain. I maintain my uh, statement. Réponse. En effet, je confirme mes propos. Tiens, ça m'occupe. Thank you. Le procureur, merci. Did you ever know a man by the name of Sour? And if you did, uh, who was he, really? Et qui était -il? Qu -il Response. Réponse. Yes, I, I do. Oui, uh, there were two Sours. En fait, uh, deux sours. One was uh, with the uh, district committee, and the other one was in the uh, members of the office committee. Était membre du comité de bureau. In uh, a question, in question. the same uh, document, Toujours your statement, document. you mentioned that uh, Su uh, disappeared in 1977 and he was a political resistant. Um, which Su in this uh, statement uh, are you referring de to? Sou Respond. Su, who Réponse was working with the office. Avec le bureau. Question. Question. So now we go down from the uh, zone to the sector level. In the uh, central zones, there uh, there were three Dans sectors: centrale, sector 41, 42, and 43. Is that correct? Response. That is correct. C'est exact. Dit le témoin. 
question. Question. Who was the uh, secretary of sector one, uh, 41, 43, Qui and était 42? le secrétaire des secteurs 41, 42 et 43? Response. Réponse. The secretary of uh, sector 41 was Srein. C'était Srein qui était le secrétaire du know, secteur 41. Uh, his deputy. Mais je ne sais pas qui était son adjoint. Question. Question. Srein was the secretary of this sector. Um, secretary did he uh, hold his position throughout the period or somebody else came to take his place at a certain point in time? Response. Réponse. No, later on he was replaced. Suite, uh, he was replaced by Ta'an. Ta Question. Question. Uh, why did Ta'an come to take uh, his place? Uh, where did uh, Srein go? Response. Réponse. Uh, Srein uh, mysteriously disappeared and Ta'an came to take his place and I knew this because uh, in the, uh, man, in the uh, telegrams, uh, the comp compendium of telegrams, uh, they uh, mentioned that the secretary of the sector was replaced. Uh, Srein uh, had uh, stopped working there and he was replaced by Ta'an. That's Ta what uh, it indicated in the uh, telegram. I did not uh, bother to ask uh, any further because I was not allowed to do that. You say that there question. was a small dites, booklet about telegrams. Uh, I would like to ask you to elaborate a little bit further. What do you mean by a small booklet of, of uh, telegrams? The president, uh, Mr. Mr. Witness, please observe some pause and you now proceed. Response. At the telegram training uh, section, we have a list of contacts. For example, uh, contacts of from zone to sector. At the beginning, the four-call person was Srein. Later on, Ta'an's name appeared. I didn't ask question about this. The president intervenes. Since it is now appropriate time for lunch adjournment, the chamber will adjourn for now, and the next session will resume by 1.30 p.m. Court officer is now instructed to assist Mr. Witness during this Le confort du témoin period of time and have him return to the courtroom by 1.30 p.m. Counsel for Mr. Nguyen-Chie, you may now proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I've just been informed by our client that he's not feeling well. Uh, he would like to retire to the holding cell this afternoon. He's suffering from a headache, a lack of concentration, and a backache. And our application is that he be permitted to follow the proceedings from the holding cell this afternoon. Thank you. The President, uh, Mr. International Co-Procureur, Mr. President, uh, Your Honours, can I please raise this matter uh, effectively of order? Um, this trial chamber yesterday ejected Mr. Iannuzzi because he was in contempt of court. Pour outrage à magistrat. Mr. President, in the jurisdictions that I practice in, Dans le système où when a counsel, witness, quand un avocat, or other participant in the court proceedings audience, is formally held by a court to be et in contempt of court, which was the finding yesterday, comme ayant commis un outrage à, à magistrat, ce qui a été le cas hier, the person in contempt, La certainly in English law called the contemner, is given the opportunity, having been held in contempt of court, à and I'm using <coughs> English legal ici, phraseology, la to purge the cette contempt. Cette personne a le droit de purge the contempt. Purging the contempt in Purging common law jurisdictions, and I can see Mr. Carnavas. Agreeing. Et je vois que Maître Carnavas est d'accord. Dans un système de droit anglo-saxon, 
judging the contempt involves the contemner in this veut dire case que Mr. le contemner en l'occurrence maître Yanouzi being given the opportunity à if he so wishes s'il le souhaite to apologize to the court des for the contempt à la chambre pour l'outrage qu'il a commis that brings the contempt potentially to an end ceci peut mettre fin does he wish to purge à l'outrage his contempt and does he wish to apologize? L'avocat souhaite-t-il mettre un terme yes, à cet outrage et s'excuser? Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci, I think Président. there's been enough purging in this Je country. Pense I a eu assez de purge dans ce pays. The President, uh, please hold on, counsel. En anglais, on emploie l'expression "purging of contempt."
The President, uh, the Chamber would like uh, to hand over to la Judge Chambre Sylvia Cartwright to Cartwright respond uh, to what raised by the co-prosecutor. Co you may proceed. La juge Cartwright. Thank you, President. Merci, President. Uh, the trial chamber uh, uh, recalls that la the notion expressed by the prosecutor uh, is not part of the internal rules of this court. De ce tribunal. Nonetheless, this was an opportunity for Ianuzi to apologize. Uh, he has chosen de not to do Il a that de ne pas in le a manner that is inappropriate Une by qui est referring to the et ce, words there have been enough purges in this suivants, country. Il y a eu assez that de is dans ce uh, pays. Uh, completely unacceptable est tout à fait uh, as a way of communicating with the country people who have suffered, suffered so much. As he has chosen not to apologize, this fact will be included in the further report that the trial chamber will make to his bar council. Thank you, President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. The President of uh, the Chamber notes the request uh, of Mr. Nuntier through his counsel, in which Mr. Nuntier has asked that he be allowed to retire to his Il holding cell for the whole, whole afternoon pour due to midi, his health concerns. De son état de santé. The Chamber therefore grants the request. Mr. Nuntier is now permitted to observe the proceedings from his holding cell where the video link is connected so that he can observe the proceedings from there. Mr. Nuntier has expressly waived his right to be present in the courtroom. The Chamber would like counsel for Mr. Nuntier to submit to the Chamber the waiver given some print or signed by Mr. Nuntier as soon as possible. The AV booth unit is now instructed to ensure that the audiovisual link is connected to the holding cell of Mr. Nuntier so that he can observe the proceeding from there. Security personnel are now instructed to bring Mr. Nuntier and Kilsom Pond to the holding cell respectively and have Mr. Kilsom Pond return to the courtroom when the next session resumes by 9, uh, rather 1.30 p.m. The court is adjourned. Some culture.